Hey, Divi Nation, thanks for coming by our documentation to learn all about Divi's social follow module. So this module is a great way to add social following buttons for many, if not all, of your favorite social networks to just about anywhere on any post or page. So we'll teach you how to do that and how to customize it in this documentation video. Check it out. In this video, I'm gonna give an overview of Divi's social media module. Now the social media module lets you create icon based links that point to your online social profiles, such as Facebook, Twitter, Google plus LinkedIn, Instagram, um, and, and many others. Uh, you may in the past have relied on a plugin to do something like this, but Divi has made it really easy. In fact, these icons uh, are integrated into the theme, uh, in a clean style of using those Divi elegant icons and, and they make them, I think, more preferable than using a third party plugin to display your social media links. And you can add links to multiple social profiles uh, within each of these modules. So um, anywhere on the page, if you need social media links, uh, this makes it a whole lot easier. So let's check out the social media module so that we can take a closer look at the settings. As you can see, I am using uh, the visual builder to edit a contact page. And this is a great place to add your social media module to, so that your followers or your visitors can choose to follow you in any of your uh, social media networks. If I go here and hover over my social media module and go to settings, you can see that I already have my uh, five uh, social media networks already added here um, but if I needed to add more I could do that here by clicking the add item icon and I can already see that I have a lot to choose from more than what I have displayed here so and let's just go back uh, so you're you can see that I have uh, the individual settings uh, for each of my social media networks as well as the general overall settings for my entire social media module. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the settings. Uh, if I'm in the content tab and I scroll down, uh, I can see that I can choose the link shape. Right now it's set to circle. Uh, if I wanted to make it a rounded rectangle, you can see the style change there. So you have two options to choose from. A uh, great way to match the design of your site. You can choose whether or not to open up your links in a new URL. The default is to open it up in a, excuse me, a new tab. Um, and then you can toggle on and off the, uh, the display of a follow button which adds a, another call to action uh, here. Uh, let me go ahead and delete my extra social network. I don't need that one. And so you can see um, a stronger call to action to go ahead and follow your social media network. You can add a background to your module here, as well as going to the design tab, you have a a whole host of other options available to you. Uh, you can change the alignment of your uh, module here. You can center it. Uh, as far as the text goes, you can change it uh, from light to dark. Um, I'm overriding it with my colors in my individual settings, but you could change your text color from, uh, if you're using a darker layout, you can change it to a light color so you can see it better. Of course, uh, you can change the width of your module, add some spacing to your module area. Again, this is the general uh, social media um, follow module settings. This is not the individual um, links settings. So we'll get to that in a second. You can add an animation as well to your module. And for your more advanced settings like custom CSS IDs and, and, and inline custom CSS, you can add it to any of the elements of your social media follow module. Let's go ahead and go back to um, our content tab and let's click on a, an individual module. I'm going to go to my Facebook network here that I've added. 
And under the content tab, this is where you would choose the network that you want. Right now I have Facebook selected. I can also attach the link to my Facebook URL. This would be the page, my Facebook page, the URL to it. Just copy and paste it in there. That way it will redirect there whenever the user clicks on the Facebook icon. Now I've set a custom background color, this, uh, this nice uh, kind of darkish pink color, uh, which matches the design of my site, my page. Going to my design tab, I've also added uh, some custom padding of 10 pixels. And to keep a uh, circular um, look, I've added the same amount of padding to uh, the top, right, bottom, and left uh, space around my icon. Um, if I wanted to, maybe these are too close together, maybe I can add a little bit of margin to the right here. Um, I could do that and just uh, continue to do that for all of my icons, my individual icons to kind of give them some more space. And uh, some custom CSS I could add to this element as well. And let's go ahead and just to show you maybe um, what the default state looks like. I'm going to erase this one. Sorry there. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, click add new. Search for my social media follow module, add it. And uh, I would suggest going uh, ahead and adding a new item first and then going back and making edits to the design of the general settings and also your individual social media uh, network settings. So here's where you add a new network. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to add Facebook for this one. I want you to notice that uh, by default, uh, the, no, the social network settings module will add the default colors for each of these social media networks, which is very convenient uh, because this really uh, would uh, match uh, any site because it's the standard you know, colors of these, of these networks. But if you wanted to override that and further give a more custom look to it, you can do that as well. But for now, I'm just going to keep it as the defaults. Um, and then here is where I would add my, um, my link to uh, my Facebook page, um, whatever that would be. I would just edit, add it there. And right now you can see that Automatically, it adds that nice uh, Facebook blue background for my network icon. Uh, and let's say I wanted to add some more spacing. I can do that here. So just add 10, uh, 10 pixels spacing, give it some nice space around that icon. And I'm going to go ahead and save, save that. Brings me back to my main menu here. The easiest way to add the other social network links here would be just to go ahead and duplicate this one since it carries over my padding uh, setting that I've, you know, made custom to my icon. Instead of having to go that and do that every time, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this one. And then I'm going to go in here and I'll change the network to Twitter. And you can see that that color will override and it will keep my spacing there. So I've added my next network pretty easily. Save that out. Let's go ahead and duplicate Twitter now and let's update this network to Google Plus. You can see that it's added the color there nicely. Duplicate Google Plus and let's update it to, um, let's do LinkedIn. Save that one and duplicate LinkedIn and update it to let's put Instagram. And so there you go. In no time, I have um, all my social media follow links there ready to go on my page. If I wanted to go ahead and give it a custom color, um, I would repeat this process, except um, just I'd have to add that color in um, every time. So um, if I, if I, let's say I wanted to, uh, sorry, duplicate this one and um, and let's say I wanted to keep that that blue 
Um, I, I have to get that blue here and copy it. Uh, that way when I change the network to Twitter and it overrides it, I can go ahead and go back here and uh, paste it in there to keep that blue. And I can keep doing that um, as I continue adding uh, networks. Let's say I wanted to add Google Plus. Um, go back here and have that blue color ready to paste there. And you can see I'm adding us uh, uh, that uh, same color throughout all my icons, which is a nice feature. All right, and there's your overview of the social media follow module.